If you're unfamiliar with Animal Crossing or haven't played it in a while, it can be a bit overwhelming. Fortunately, we have some tips that should help you get through the first few days and weeks. Number 1. How to get Nook Miles Quickly As you play New Horizons, you'll complete challenges that will net you some Nook Miles. These Nook Miles can be exchanged for items at the Nook Stop machine and resident services. There are a ton of easy ways to earn Nook Miles early on, but if you're struggling, we recommend fishing, bug catching, picking weeds, selling seashells, and chatting with your villagers. Keep checking your Nook Miles app to see which challenges are within your grasp. Once you've paid off your first loan, you'll also unlock Nook Miles Plus. These are infinite rotating Nook Miles challenges that you can grind as much as you want. Most of these challenges are pretty easy as well. Number 2. How to increase your pocket space By now you may have noticed that you can't carry a lot at the start of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Fear not because you can easily upgrade your pocket space by redeeming pocket expansions at the Nook Stop machine. It costs 5,000 Nook Miles for the first upgrade, which is available on day one, and 8,000 for the second. You can purchase it after the residential services building is complete. That will take at least a few days, if not a week, so be patient. Number 3. Better Tools If your flimsy tools are breaking too much, it's probably time to start crafting better ones. To do that, you need to purchase improved tools from the Nook Stop machine. This will allow you to craft standard versions of each tools aside from the shovel, which you can get from Blathers. Keep in mind that most of these recipes require iron nuggets, so be sure to hit rocks each and every day. Number 4. How to Store Your Furniture one of the many benefits of home ownership in Animal Crossing New Horizons is that your house comes with a ton of storage. When you are rummaging through your pockets, you can select an item and move it to storage. You can check your storage by pressing right on the D-pad while you're in your house. Your storage expands with each house upgrade, so if you're running out of space, it might be time to pay off your next loan. Number 5. How to Upgrade Your Buildings your island is pretty bare at the beginning, so you might be wondering when you get essential buildings like the Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny. The short answer is just to wait. It took me about a week to get residential services and two weeks to get the Able Sisters. The best advice we have, without time skipping of course, is to help Tom Nook as soon as you can when he has an errand for you, and take it day by day. Number 6. Bridges and Slopes if you're tired of constantly switching to your ladder or vaulting pole, you might be wondering when you can start building bridges and slopes. Tom Nook will help you build your first bridge after the first few days, however you won't be able to start building slopes and bridges whenever you like until the residential services building is complete. When you've unlocked it, you can talk to Tom Nook about infrastructure and he'll help you set up a bridge or a slope fund. Number 7. Visitors As you play Animal Crossing, you may spot visitors from time to time. These are special characters like Kix and CJ that show up for the day and can offer you some exciting things. For example, if Gulliver washes up on your shores, keep talking to him until he gets up. He'll then ask you to find communicator parts so he can contact a rescue party. Comb the beach and look for water sprays in the sand to dig up. If you find all the communicator pieces, he'll send you a gift in the mail the following day. Number 8. Send Letters this may seem like a waste of time, but sending letters actually has a few benefits. First, sending letters to your neighbors can earn you some Nook Miles. Second, if you attach a gift to a letter, there's a good chance the response letter will also contain a gift. This is a good way to get more furniture, flooring, and wallpaper. Finally, when you send letters to your villagers, they will like you more, which means they will give you more gifts throughout the day. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our money-making guide and our essential tips on GameSpot and YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.